hey, welcome back. I'm Savannah King, back with vlog number eight for Converge News Production. And today I'll be talking about chapters 11 and 12 from our text. So in chapter 11, it covered social media and journalism. So I feel like social media as a platform for journalists is really booming right now. And it's continuously growing as technology grows as well. So as we've seen, social media is changing journalism's formula. It's giving us journalists the ability to easily share our content with individuals and networks. It's also allowing us to receive feedback as well as opening up a loop for others to interact with our content and feedback as well. So some examples of social media um, that contains um, news is like Twitter, Instagram, um, Reddit, Facebook, and even Snapchat. I know NBC has their own Snap show on there, which is, I've watched it and it's pretty good. One of my favorite um, platforms to receive news is actually Twitter. I'm really busy throughout the day, so I don't have time to watch the news or read the newspaper. So I'm getting my a lot of my news from Twitter these days which I know it sounds kind of crazy, but it's actually sometimes a good form to receive breaking news. So also with social media comes, of course, trolls, um, rogue commenters, and as well as, the, and as the textbook calls it, flamers. So what do we do with these trolls who seem to comment hateful things on our stuff? We could comment back, but a lot of the times that kind of backfires on us. In my personal opinion, I feel like we should just kind of sit back and let them say what they're going to say. If we're doing this on a social media platform, we want them to be interactive and we don't want to take their voice away. So I feel like that's just the best, best option in that stance. So moving on to chapter 12, this is talking about adding multimedia to the web. So multimedia means multiple medias, which means using various forms and combinations of media like sound, text, video, animations, and even pictures. Exam one example is like capturing a memorable moment through pictures. So you can use it in things like a photo gallery, a slideshow, or even timelines. You can also use sound, which you can use in the form of a podcast or a sound bite, as well as a video where you can make packages and even graphics where you have the opportunity to add maps, timelines, and pull out boxes with extra information. So what I've learned from this whole chapter is, you know, journalism is growing to many different platforms and we have to be able to adapt to those. And it's these platforms are allowing us to really connect with our audience more, which I feel like is such a huge thing in journalism today. So with that, thank you for joining me and make sure to check back Thursday with vlog number nine. I'm Savannah King. Thank you.